Bookmap's one-click trading add-on feature allows trading directly from the Bookmap chart. This offers a distinct advantage since Bookmap displays the current and historical limit order book. Therefore, you can optimize and pinpoint your trade entries, exits, and trade management within the display of the liquidity map. Let's click on the Trade Control Panel tool up here. Now before I enable it, let's go through some of the configurations before I begin my trading. Click on this icon here and open up the window for the configurations. First is the option to show the Trade Status Panel. Let's click on that and we'll select it and you can see all the different trade data that's going to be displayed here. The same data is displayed over here in the Trade Control Panel. Also selected here is Show Profit and Loss in the Position Chart, which is the subchart down here. Also, all orders are displayed here. This is important if you want to see all of your orders displayed. So select all here, and you'll have Executed, Working, Cancelled, and Order Queue all displayed within Bookmap. I'll go over the Orders Queue feature in just a minute. Now let's go down to the subchart here, and we'll display our Profit and Loss. I'll click on the Configuration button here, and I'm going to deselect all of my cumulative volume delta data, and instead I just want to show here my profit and loss. You can also show your position size here with the white line. Now let's go up and enable the Trade Control Panel. We'll click here and note that the padlock icon turns green and is open. This signifies that the current market window here is now active and live. So any clicking within this window is going to generate a trade. So let's set up our trade activity here. I'm going to use the order duration here of good till cancel. My stop order type I'm going to use market and my stop order duration I'm going to use good till cancel and then let's choose a size here of volume of one. I'm not going to go through the other buttons here and the other options as they are covered in a separate video. Also I'm going to generate some simple orders here and not use the OCO bracketed or trailing stop order types here. Okay so in the current market window left clicking in this window always generates a buy. Right clicking always generates a sell. Now depending on where you click in relationship to price will determine the order type as well as clicking with key combinations. So let's go through an example of a market buy order. Left clicking is always a buy. So I'm going to left click above current price here. And you can see Bookmap has recorded where I clicked here at 22.54 and a half. A beige dot appears. It also shows with a beige triangle where I got filled within the trade. Note that a beige horizontal line appears on the price ladder. This is my overall open position. It is the average price of my open position. Also note that the trade data now appears in the trade control panel over here, as well as my trade status panel up here, and in the profit and loss in the subchart down below. Okay, let's click on flatten to close this position you can see that Bookmap has recorded where I flatten the position here with a violet triangle. Now let's set some limit buy orders by clicking below current price. You can see that I'm clicking here in these areas and a beige dot appears where I clicked at what time. The dash line here displays that uh, this is a limit buy order at these price levels and you can see it's for volume of one. Let's click up a, a bit further here with another limit buy order and we'll display here this yellow line in the current order book column as bars or bars and numbers. This is my order in the queue here. So I am waiting in the end of the line here at this price level. All of this liquidity here is in front of me and my order will get filled once either all of these orders are filled before me or they're pulled before me. And that option is here again in the configurations orders queue as you can see here. Now I'll set a few buy stops above the current market. So left clicking above the market is always going to be a buy. 
it'll be a market buy unless I hold down the shift key. Holding down the shift key and left clicking above, now you can see my buy stops are up here. Note that uh, bookmap records where I, where I clicked and is giving me a double dash line. This line type is different than the limit order that you see down here with the long dashed single line. Okay, let's flatten the position here or cancel all. And you can see that bookmap has now canceled all open orders. All the history of my orders is displayed here on the chart. You can see where I clicked and initiated the order and where I canceled the order here with a hollow dot. Now let's set some sell orders by right clicking within the current market window. Right clicking below current price is going to generate a market sell order. You can see where I clicked and then where I was filled. And note my average weighted price here at 22.54 and a half. Now let's generate some limit sell orders above current price. Right click above current price and you can see the long dashed line here which displays my volume and where I clicked. Sell orders are with the violet color here that you see. Now we'll set a few sell stop orders below current price by holding down the shift key and right clicking. Now we can see our double dash line which is our sell stop order. Now let's edit some of these orders within this market window. We can change the size of an order by hovering over the left of the order here of this vertical white line and we'll just left click once and here I can change the size of this order. I'll change it to three. Note how bookmap has recorded the change in the order here with a smaller violet dot and you can see now the order is for a volume of three. Now I can also move these orders here if I hover my mouse over the left of the vertical white line here my uh, arrow icon becomes a double sided arrow and I can left click hold and drag the order up to a new area. You can see that bookmap records all of my trading activity. Let's set a few more limit sell orders up above current price by right clicking. Now let's say I move this three lot order up to the same price level of this other order here at 22.56 and a quarter. Note that when I dragged and dropped it onto that area that I am now showing here volume of four and in parentheses is giving me the number of orders. So there are four contracts up here but two separate orders. Now you can left click hold and drag and separate out those orders and move each order individually or you can hold down the control key and we'll move each order, left click, hold and drag and move all of them at once. And you can see now that all orders have been moved to this one price level of 2257. Holding down that control key allows me to move them all at the same time. Now in the trade control panel over here, I have options to cancel all open sell orders, cancel all, or cancel all open buy orders. However, if I cancel all open sell orders, maybe I don't want to cancel some of these that have been in line and position in queue for quite a while. So you have the option to cancel individual orders at specific price levels by using your center mouse wheel as a button. Let's come down here and cancel some of the sell stops that I have here. I'll just click on my center mouse wheel and you can see that I'm canceling each individual order. Now let's consolidate all of my limit sell orders at one specific price level. I'll hold down the control key, left click, hold and drag all of these orders down here and then one more time down to 22.55 even. Actually let's move it up a little bit further so we don't get filled in this example and you can see that I have nine contracts here but seven separate orders. Let's say I want to cancel one of those orders. Well, I can use my center mouse wheel and I can cancel that order. Now I have eight contracts and six separate orders. Or if you choose, you can cancel all orders here at this specific price level by holding down the control key and using your center mouse wheel as a button and click on this price level. And you can see 
that I've canceled now all of my limit sell orders at that specific price level. Now let's go over a few practical uses for using the one-click trading in Bookmap. Since Bookmap displays the liquidity heat map, you can use this information to your advantage. So for example, let's say we are bearish. So we want to get filled before this high liquidity at 2255. So I'm going to start setting my limit sell orders in front of that area. I'm willing to absorb price before hitting this area of high liquidity to guarantee my fill. You can also left click below and, and begin setting some of your targets at some of the areas before high liquidity that you see here at 2251. This gives you higher probability of getting filled before this area here of the high liquidity. Bookmap's one-click trading also allows you to utilize the API configuration up here. Let's click on that and opens the window for some automated trading strategies that are available for you here. You have the chase, escape, and execute strategies. Now these strategies are covered in a separate video, but basically they are looking for order book and balances to find an opportunity for an optimized trade. Let's close this window and please watch that video for further information. So you can see the advantage that Bookmap gives with the one-click trading. All of your trading activity is precisely recorded here historically, and it also allows you to quickly and intuitively react to price within the current market window. This will allow you to optimize and pinpoint your trade entries, exits, and your trade management.